one of the important elements in the Longleaf Pine ecosystem is the agent of fire. Fire is important to the survival of the Longleaf Pine Forest. Um, it really can't survive without it because the Longleaf Pine is adapted um, to withstand fires and that way it can it can out compete some of the other tree species such as loblolly pines as far as growth rate is concerned but the uh, the loblolly does not have the adaptations to fire that longleaf does we actually did a prescribed burn in this area back in early december of 2019 and if you look at some of the um some of the trunks of the trees you can see where they're blackened uh, from some of the fire burning off a little bit of the outer scales of the bark uh, you see some of the fire char char here and also look at this look at this longleaf young longleaf pine this one is what what they call the rocket stage for the first about five years of their life depending on conditions they spend um, life in the grass stage looking like a tussock uh, you know kind of like you would see with wire grass but in the right environmental conditions, um, they spend that time putting down a root system, and then they start a very uh, quick vertical growth. They call it the, the rocket stage or rocket phase where they're growing vertically very fast. But you see, the reason for that is when the fire, when the longleaf pines are in here and if you have fire sweep through, it could kill the terminal bud. But this one got enough growth on it to where you see everything down here got burned off and the needles even charred here almost all the way up to the top but the terminal growth bud remained alive and intact it was protected it wasn't candled out like it is now it was still a small bud in the winter time but it's that's one of the ways that longleaf pines can survive fire um, a loblolly pine this same size would have probably not survived the fire that came through here when we did the prescribed burn. Now sometimes when you're trying to restore habitat like we are here with the Longleaf Pine Forest, sometimes fire alone is not going to be enough. There was enough growth of loblollies in here to where we've had to do some mechanical thinning. So we've done uh, what they basically call a pre-harvest thinning, which was done uh, with grant money secured by the North Carolina Forest Service. And they've actually come and cut a lot of the hardwoods and loblollies out, which is gonna help us uh, with the restoration to this area as a lonely pine forest. One of the reasons we're working on some restoration projects within uh, these lonely pine forests in the park is that um, there are certain animals that depend on longleaf pine habitats and and fairly open forest habitat so with the restoration project that's going on here in this unit we've got uh, the prescribed burning that has been done and will continue to be done but also the mechanical thinning ha that has been done will help um, improve the future habitat for red cockaded woodpeckers. They're an endangered species. Um, they're one of the uh, species of uh, animals that are absolutely dependent on places like this in order to survive. Now, unlike uh, most woodpeckers that will excavate a nesting cavity into a dead tree, red cockaded woodpeckers will only use living trees. Somehow they know uh, uh, where trees are that have heart rot disease, where the outside of the tree is still living, but the heart of the tree is rotted. Um, and they can, once they excavate the uh, a cavity hole through the living part of the tree, which takes several years, um, then they can um, make their nesting cavity inside the tree itself. So that's one of the other reasons that we're trying to restore this habitat is for endangered species like the red cockaded woodpecker.